judge has revoked the probation of a local man claiming to be a windstorm inspector in order to submit windstorm certification reports and make money doing it. The judge sentenced the man to two years in a state jail facility. The man has been the subject of previous reports on Action 10 News. This is 65-year-old Anthony Gary Garza in Judge Missy Medary's court today for a hearing to determine whether his probation for one count of theft and eight counts of tampering with a government document would be revoked or upheld. The prosecution and Garza's defense attorney taking turns questioning a CCPD detective, a former Development Services building official, Jean Deloro, and people like Gloria de la Cruz, victims of Garza's tactics. But after approximately an hour's worth of testimony, this comment from Judge Madera. The victims in this case have been owed money and the restitution has not paid. Um, that's, that's my problem with this, and it seems like Every time I get them before me in court to do this motion to revoke probation, there seems to be a payment made. Uh, I don't think he's taking probation seriously. I don't think he uh, is nervous about probation. I think he thinks that he cannot pay this and blow this off. Uh, but I'll let you do your questioning. So what you're telling me, Your Honor, is you've already made your decision before the defense has put on any evidence. Is that correct? The request for a recusal denied by not only Maderi but by 5th Region Judge Jack Pulcher. And within minutes of the hearing resuming, Judge Maderi handed down her decision. Uh, at this time, I am going to revoke your probation. I am going to sentence you to... All right, at this time, I am going to sentence him to two years in the state jail facility. Would you like to make any comment, Mr. Garrison? About why this happened? Y'all are going to appeal. Right, Mr. Uh, we will uh, review that and make that decision shortly. Do you have a time? Now, Garza has to turn himself into the county jail Monday, no later than 8 o'clock in the morning. He's also facing trial on new but similar charges. No date set there yet.